Hey, what's up, everybody? It is your pal Keith here again at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England. And I've got another ESP Explorer to show you today. This is the EX series, or also known as the post lawsuit with the ESP or Jackson kind of style headstock as opposed to the hockey puck or hockey stick banana style headstock that they uh, had in the olden days when they were ripping off Gibson. I really like this design. It's, uh, it's more modern. It's more true to ESP. And it's lightweight. It's agile. It rocks. It sounds great. It plays great. It's, um, it's a phenomenal explorer, for sure. If you were to ask me what I would take this or a standard Gibson Explorer, it would be this one all day long. Although I did just get in a Blood Moon Gibson Explorer that you should check on the channel. That thing is crazy, and I, I'd probably take that one just because it's freaking awesome. But aside from that, I would take this over any uh, standard Gibson USA Explorer any day of the week, hands down, no questions asked. Take a millisecond to make that decision. We've got active EMG pickups in 81, and uh, unusually, a 60, EMG 60 there with the blue font. Beautiful rosewood fretboard, pearl dot inlays, and the ESP headstock with ESP on the logo. These days, if you want something with ESP on the logo, on the, on the headstock rather, you're going to pay through the nose for that. So you've got black on black with the black pickups. Very, very nice. Um, it is interesting the artistic reason why they go with the ebony fretboard, or excuse me, the rosewood fretboard over an ebony. I wonder if it would just look over the top too much black if you were to do that. But I think it would be kind of cool if they did this with an ebony fretboard, maybe no inlays, uh, black hardware, black screws for the pickup rings. But maybe I'm just getting carried away there. The case, as always with ESP, is beautiful. It's a fitted case. You've got a nice storage compartment there, very lush. Um, you know, I always pack the guitars when I ship them around the world quite well with added bubble wrap and airbags and all sorts of stuff like that. But honestly, with these cases, you can just put them right in and, and ship them off, slap a label on the case itself, and it's good to go. They're really well built. I love the ESP cases. The latches, too, the hardware is just really nice. Heavy duty handles and cases, and like, you know, there's like nice chrome insert there. You don't have to do that. So they go a little extra mile for you. And it's nice. Yeah, cool guys. Well, if you look on the channel, I've had a couple of these EX Explorers lately. I think I've had three. This is my third one. Plus, I had the In Flames signature one, which was awesome. It had a reverse headstock, which was cool. And then also a cool flaming, looked like an X-Man X on the, uh, the fretboard. So if you like this style, check out the other ESPs. Go to the ESP playlist on my YouTube channel and you shall see some more. Cool, guys. I'm going to sign off. We've got lots of videos to show you very soon. Head on over to our Facebook, Essex Recording Studios, uh, EssexRecordingStudios.com as well. If you want to buy this guitar, it'll be up there. And Instagram, at Essex Recording Studios. Twitter, too, at Essex Recording. They don't give us enough characters to say the whole thing. All right, guys. See ya.